If you remember, we started with understanding how human being as coexistence of self and body, and we looked into that detail about you know, the need, activities, and response of the self as well as of the body. We identified the self as a you know, unit of consciousness and body as a unit of material. So all that investigation we did. Then with that, we moved on to this, you know, trying to understand this harmony in self in more detail. And that is what we were working on. Now with this understanding of harmony in the self and the coexistence between self and body, now we can get back to the body, you know, and try to understand how this harmony with the body is maintained by the self. Now self is central to human existence and it is using the body as an instrument. Therefore, the self has this responsibility of maintaining this harmony with the body. Both harmony in the body and harmony with the body. How this harmony in the body is maintained and how this self is responsible for maintaining, number one, the harmony in the body and harmony with the body. That is what we are we have to investigate. So this title is Harmony of the Self with the Body. So we talked about harmony in the self of the self with the body. So let's look at that. We have already talked about this coexistence between self and body. Right? And we have talked about this transaction between the self and body. Right? So that is what we have talked about. Now let's look at this. We talked about this transaction between the self and body in terms of information. And we said that self, which is an unit of consciousness, is giving some instruction to the body, which is an unit of material. And this decision is taken by the self, what to give as instruction to the body. Similarly, the self is reading some sensation from the body. Right. And here again, the decision is taken by the self as to which sensation to be read. So there are a lot of sensations taking place, many sensations taking place in the body, but we are not accessing all these you know, sensations. We only access those sensations which we consider are important. So this is the transaction going on between the self and the body, between the self, which is a unit of consciousness, and the body, which is a unit of material. Now, with this background, if we look at the need of human being, right, it is basically the need of self, you know, which is playing the central role. And that need is for continuous happiness. And even this prosperity, this is the feeling of prosperity, which is the need of the self. And we mentioned briefly that this prosperity essentially becomes a part of you know, ensuring continuous happiness. So when we are trying to ensure continuity of happiness in the self, a part of it is ensuring the prosperity. Right? Prosperity in relation to the necessary physical facility. So this is something which we will be able to see in this um, uh, session also very clearly that prosperity is just a part of this continuity of happiness. So basic need of the self is continuous happiness and that is the need of the self. And that turns out to be the need of the human being also. So that is playing the central role. When you look at the cell need of the body, it is in terms of the physical facility. So some physical facility is required for nurturing the body, for protecting the body, and for ensuring the right utilization of the body. So that is the need of the body. And it is important in the context of the self using the body as an instrument. Okay. 
Now, when we look at these activities of the self, we find that the activities of the self are continuous in time. Right? And needs of the self are also continuous in time that we have already seen, right? So need of the self is continuous in time. The activities of the self is continuous in time. But when you look at this need of this body and the activity of the body, they are temporary in time. So you need food when the body is, you know, uh, lacking nutrition. But once stomach is full, you don't need food. So that need in that sense is temporary in nature, which we have discussed already. And similarly, the activities that you take from the body are also, you know, limited in time. They are temporary in time. So you can't take the work from the body continuously. Now, this realization that self is central to human existence, I am central to this human existence, and I'm using the body as my instrument. There is this feeling of self-regulation. So I have this feeling of responsibility towards the body. Right. That feeling of responsibility towards the body in the self is what is called self-regulation. So at the level of self, there is a feeling of self-regulation. And we will see that this feeling of self-regulation at the level of self will reflect as health in the body. It will reflect as health in the body. That we will see you know, right now when we discuss this in detail. We will be able to see that it is this feeling of self-regulation in the self which is you know, the basis for ensuring the health in the body. Now, with this feeling of self-regulation, I have the feeling of responsibility towards the body. And when I look at this body with this feeling of responsibility towards the body, I can see that I have to nurture the body, I have to protect the body, and I have to ensure the right utilization of the body. Because body is used as an instrument by me. So I have to be responsible. I have to be responsible for nurturing the body. I have to be responsible for protecting the body. I have to be responsible for right utilization of the body. So we keep taking this example that if you have a car, for example, right? Now, if you have a car and you are using that car, as a you know instrument, then whose responsibility is this to fill this petrol, diesel? So it is your responsibility. Similarly, whose responsibility is this to protect you know the car from dashing against another car or the pole on the roadside? So that protection is your responsibility. And to ensure right utilization of the car is also your responsibility. So if I am using a car, I am responsible for nurturing, you know, or enriching that car by filling petrol, by protecting that car from meeting an accident and, you know, right utilization of the car. Similarly, because I'm using this body as an instrument, it is my responsibility to nurture the body, to protect the body, and to ensure the right utilization of the body. So out of this feeling of relationship with the body and feeling of responsibility towards the body, which we are calling a self-regulation in the self, we are now feeling responsible towards this nurturing, protection, and right utilization of the body. And when you talk about physical facility or need of physical facility, that is what we need this physical facility for. So all our need for physical facility has to do with this ensuring, right, you know, nurturing of the body, ensuring protection of the body, 
and ensuring right utilization of the body. So let us look at this, you know, what kind of physical facility we require. And then we'll be able to see whether we require this physical facility in a limited amount or unlimited amount, in a limited quantity or unlimited quantity. So let's look at that one by one, right? <clears throat> so physical facility required for this purpose. For example, for nurturing the body, we need food, air, water, right? This is for nurturing the body. Now you can start asking this question, whether you need food for nurturing or not. Then whether you need this food in a limited quantity or unlimited quantity. So when you ask this question, whether food is required in a limited quantity or unlimited quantity, you can find out for yourself. You can get the answer. Similarly, when you look at the, you know, protection of the body, you need things like some clothes, some shelter, right? <laughs> For protection of the body from excessive cold, excessive heat, and so on. This shelter can be a very basic one, or it can be very sophisticated. But ultimately, what it is doing is protecting your body from heat, from cold, and so on. The clothes, what it is doing is protecting you from the excessive heat, cold, and things like that, you know. And third is right utilization of the body. So when I'm making the right utilization of the body, for example, I'm using my body to communicate with you. And if we are sitting very far away, from each other, then I cannot shout at a voice which can reach you. Then I use a mic, right. I use a radio, I use internet. Right. So all this I am using as an instrument in the process of ensuring right utilization of the body. So if I have to move from one place to the other and I cannot move my body at a speed at which I want it to, I might use a car. Right? If I have to speak to people who are far away, I might use a phone. Right? Now whether it is a very basic phone or a smartphone or you know, line, you know, phone, mobile, all these are details. But essentially, I am using this instrument to enhance my capacity of the body, you know, of reaching you. But the basic purpose is ensuring the right utilization of the body. Basic purpose is to communicate something meaningful to the other. So in the process of right utilization of the body, I might need some instrument, some equipment, some kind of this facility, you know. Now, if you look at these three things, there are two important questions to ask. Number one, whether you need these physical facilities or not. And related to this is that if, if you look at all your need for physical facility, is it included in this or there is something more? So this is one question. The second question is that now that we have identified, you know, the physical facility that we require, you can ask yourself whether you require them in a limited quantity or unlimited quantity. Because that is very, very, very crucial. So let us ask this question to ourselves. The food we require for nurturing the body or not? that you can check for yourself. Then you can ask whether you require food 
for nurturing the body in limited quantity or unlimited quantity so when you get this get you know when you explore within this within yourself you will find that yes you need food for nurturing the body you need food you need air you need water and things like that and you require them in a limited quantity so if four chapatis can fill your stomach or quarter kg of rice can fill your stomach that is the amount of rice that you want and it is certainly in a limited required in a limited quantity similarly you can see the clothes that you require for protection whether you require them or not and do you require them in a limited quantity or unlimited quantity so you can decide if you have three different seasons let's say and for every season you need four pairs of clothes that altogether you would need 12 pairs of clothes right? or you can have more but the number will always be you know limited in quantity and when it comes to wearing these clothes you can wear only one at a time if you wear more than one at a time then it will become more like a problem for you and for your body so this amount or this number of clothes which are required is certainly going to be definite and each one of us can decide it for ourselves but certainly it is not required in an unlimited quantity because what will you do with unlimited quantity it will become more of a trouble for you more of a headache for you then similarly shelter you, know, you need some room some space you know, which can protect you from heat from cold excessive heat excessive cold so on but not all the time even that you know. because if you are there in the room all the time and you are not exposed to sun and all those things then that itself may become a cause of your disease if the body is not sweating then all this process of cleaning of the body through your you know uh, <clears throat> skin is blocked and then you have to you know do lot of things to take it out so this need for shelter is it required in a limited quantity and limited quantity so how much shelter we require that we have to find out and how much quantity is required of each of this so if i have to make a house how many rooms are required and that room is, has to be all covered or partly covered you know it's more like has to be in terms of veranda and things like that and then trees you know underneath which you can sit in you know have a shed so all these have to be thought of but all this put together do you require it in a limited quantity or limited quantity that you can check similarly when you are looking at this right utilization of the body so if i want to talk to you and if i want to reach you physically you know if i start walking and you are staying in delhi you know 450 kilometers it will take me at least 15 days right, to walk so i might use a car i might use it in right i might use a plane but all this together if you see do i require it in a limited quantity or unlimited quantity so if i require it in a limited quantity and if i am going to use once in a while then is it wise to have your own train or your own plane or your own car <laughs> but even if you own a car you want to own it in a limited quantity or unlimited quantity one car two car right 
this is still unlimited, not unlimited. So the essence is that if we look at all these physical facilities, they are required in a limited quantity. Now let us ask this question to ourselves that is there any requirement of physical facility which is other than what we have mentioned, you know, for nurturing of the body, for protection of the body, for right utilization of the body. So this is the this is all that is needed for the you know human being as physical facility. And you can ask this question whether they are required in a limited quantity or unlimited quantity. So keep asking this question to yourself, right? Because you have a lot of assumption otherwise. You think that needs are unlimited, resources are limited. But think over it, whether this physical facility required for each of these things, you know, for nurturing of the body, protection of the body and right utilization of the body, is it required in limited quantity, unlimited quantity? So the answer would be that yes, they are required and they are required in a limited quantity. And once we are able to see that they are required in a limited quantity, then for the first time we can see the possibility of prosperity. Otherwise we don't see the possibility of you know, prosperity. We have almost assumed that we will continue to be deprived and in the process try accumulating more and more physical facility and get into that vicious loop that we have been talking about. So the essence is that yes, the physical facilities are required for nurturing, protection and light utilization of the body and they are required in limited quantity. Yes. And if I can see that, I can see the possibility of prosperity. So with this, we'll revisit the definition of prosperity that we had talked about you know, in one of the sessions when we were just defining this happiness and prosperity. So with this, you can see this prosperity is the feeling of having or producing more than required physical facility, right? So the prosperity is having this feeling of having more than what is required, you know, as physical facility. Now, if you look at this definition, basically there are two parts to it. Number one is to identify what is the required physical facility. So identification of required physical facility including the required quantity and this we can do with right understanding. So if we have the right understanding of things then I can find out how much physical facility is required for nurturing, protection and utilization of the body. The second issue is that I am able to ensure the availability of it right by way of production of a quantity more than what is required and this is to be done with right skills so this is interesting to ensure prosperity i need to have the right understanding to decide my need for physical facility and that is what we are deciding in this session and we also need right skills to produce more than what is required so that we can have the feeling of prosperity for ourselves and we can also enrich the nation. On the other hand, if you are not able to identify the need of physical facility, that is if you don't have the right understanding and you cannot identify the need of physical facility, then irregard of how much you accumulate, right, you continue to feel deprived. You continue to feel deprived. So this first point is very important that I am able to identify the need of physical facility with right understanding. 
then only I can produce more than what is required and therefore feel that prosperity. And for producing more than what is required, I need right kind of skills. So this is what we have been saying right from the beginning, you know, that well education in engineering has to do with this issue. That with right understanding, I will be able to identify my needs, you know, need in general of continuous happiness and need in particular of physical facility. And when we do that, we find that yes, this physical facility is required in a limited quantity. And we can produce more than what is required and therefore we can be prosperous. And I, as I was mentioning that we are already producing six times what is required for all the people in, on this earth in terms of you know food. Six times we are producing. So this is not a problem of physical facility anymore, but it is a problem of relationship. <coughs> so let's look at this prosperity and how it can be ensured. And one of the good indicator about this prosperity is that a prosperous person thinks in terms of right utilization out of his understanding, right understanding. And he thinks of nurturing others out of his feeling for others. So a prosperous person will think of right utilization and think of nurturing others. So out of this right understanding, he will have this right utilization. Out of this right feeling, he will have this feeling of nurturing others. Right. Where is the deprived person who always thinks that his needs are unlimited and is, you know, goes on accumulating, right? So this person who is deprived will always think of accumulation. And in the process of exploitation, ex ex accumulation, he might think of exploiting others. And now you can find out for yourself what is your sign, you know? What are you showing? This feeling of right utilization and nurturing others or thinking of accumulation and exploiting others. So with this, you know, if you recall, in the very first session, we talked about this, you know, three things required, right understanding, right feeling and you know, physical facility. We saw that presently we have two types of people. One is, you know, people who are lacking physical facility, they are unhappy and deprived. And the other type is people who are having a lot of physical facility and they are unhappy and deprived. But where we want to be is that we want to be happy and we want to be prosperous. We want to be happy and we want to be prosperous. So having physical facility and happy and prosperous. Now you can find out where you are. Whether you are in one or two or three and where you want to be. You can also see that if you are not able to identify your need for physical facility, through right understanding, then you can be either in one or two. And the whole civilization today is just helping you to transform from one to two. Where you want the transformation from one to three or two to three. And this is what we are proposing. What we are proposing is that with right understanding and right feeling, if we can ensure physical facility more than what is required, then we can live in a state of harmony and happiness within and work for the harmony and happiness of other people, other family, other you know, the whole society and so on. And that is what we have been saying right from the beginning that we do need physical facility, but we need right understanding and right feeling with higher priority, right? 
So when we have this right understanding and then we have the right feeling out of this right understanding, then we are able to identify the need of physical facility better. And if we are producing more than what is required, we can be prosperous within. So we can have this feeling of happiness and prosperity for ourselves and work for happiness and prosperity of others. And that is what is desirable in the family, in the society, in the nation and everywhere. So this is how we can see, right? Yes. So this we have already talked about, you know, very recently that if you think that human body, human being is equal to body, then you are caught in this loop where you think that you need physical facility in an unlimited quantity. Therefore, you are busy with accumulation of physical facility, which is unlimited, you think. But whatever physical facility you acquire, it turns out to be limited. So you may have, you know, 10,000 saris, but it's still limited. And if you think that you have to be, have unlimited saris, okay, then you will feel deprived. And when you think that you are deprived, you do not have enough, then you will keep accumulating more and more. And after having accumulated more, you ask yourself, is it still unlimited or still limited? The answer is that it's limited. Now, you will again have this feeling of deprivation because you think that you have to have this unlimited physical facility. So you still feel deprived and then you go on, right? You go on accumulating more and more, first by legal means, then by illegal means, right? So all corruption, everything. But unfortunate thing is that because you are not able to decide your need for physical facility with right understanding, because you do not have that right understanding, therefore you go on accumulating more and more and you remain deprived and you keep exploiting others. So you can see all over the world, you know, people having lakhs and crores of rupees worth asset or dollar worth asset. And they are still busy, you know, exploiting others. So-called developed nations are trying to exploit the developing nations and, or underdeveloped nations. Right? And they are already consuming 15 times more than the average of the world. But this is what is happening and this will continue to happen. Unless we understand the self and body, you know, the human being has coexistence of self and body. Understand we are able, unless we are able to identify the need of self as continuous happiness, which is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling, it will not be possible for us to identify the need of the body, right? need of the physical facility relating to body. Right. And unless I identify the need of physical facility and see that it is required in a limited quantity, we cannot ensure more than that. And we cannot, we cannot, you know, ensure the feeling of prosperity. So we'll continue to be deprived, continue to be exploiting others right? and depriving others. <coughs> yes. So this is what we were mentioning, you know, that <clears throat> even now we are producing far more than what is required. So this is the data of 2011, right? 2011. It says, of the 4.2 billion tons of food produced, this is the food we are producing, this is 2011. More than 1 billion ton of food is lost or wasted every year. About a third of, you know, one third of all the food produced for human consumption each year, or roughly 1.3 billion tons is lost or wasted, according to a new study commissioned by the United States Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO. Now you can see that if you assume that on an average, one person will eat one quintal of grain in a year, 
and that's the average you can find out for your family how much grain you eat over uh, the year and then you can see how much food you eat over a month so the amount of grain which is used consumed by one person over the year is around one quintal right so the amount of food that is required will be something like 700 crore quintals so 0.7 billion ton is what is required and what we are producing is 4.2 billion tons so what is wasted is enough to feed 1300 crore people per year so is it a problem of production is it a scarcity of physical facility a scarcity of grain which is causing poverty or deprivation no we are already producing six times so once we understand the need of physical things physical facility we can see that we are already producing six times more than what is required but if we do not then we are in trouble then we on we go on consuming right more and more and we consume what is the share of the other also so if i start consuming 15 times more than what is required then you can see there will be crisis because we are producing only six times so the question is have you understood this needs of physical facility for human being have you understood the right utilization and this what we see today is it a question of production or distribution that we are producing six times and still there are people who are deprived of food is it because of lack of production or lack of distribution proper distribution and if you look at this issue of distribution you know you can see that it is a question of relationship because if we feel related to the other we'll share we'll distribute to them rather than start consuming 15 times more and this issue of relationship is ultimately the issue of right understanding and this right understanding is an issue of right education and sanskar human education and sanskar so ultimately the issue is that of right education through which we can have right understanding on the basis of which we can have right feeling on the basis of that we'll have the right distribution we we'll think in terms of sharing with others right and if we can do all this then this issue will all all you know will automatically be resolved because we are already producing six times what is required so the prosperity will be there for everyone in, on this earth so in a sense what we are saying is this you can read through very simple human being is coexistence of self and body self is an unit of consciousness body is an unit of material we can see that self is central to human existence the body is used as an instrument we have already discussed all this in quite detail the nurturing protection and rehabilitation of the body is the responsibility of the self and this is what we are calling a self regulation feeling of self regulation in the self then physical facility is required to fulfill the responsibility of the self you know, towards the body which we have just talked about physical facility is required in a limited quantity for nurturing protection and rehabilitation of the body and with this i can see that this physical facility is required in a limited quantity that we talked about right now and with this we can understand this prosperity you know, prosperity as feeling of having or producing more than what is required as physical facility and this can be ensured by way of identification of the required physical facility through right understanding and ensuring the availability or production of more than what is required with right skills right. so this is possible for every one of us to be prosperous through this understanding the need and ensuring the production by way of right skill so this is if we can ensure this we can ensure our harmony with the body so the self can ensure the harmony with the body 
if it can identify the need of physical facility and it can help the body to produce you know the physical facility in an amount which is more than you know, what is required when we have more than what is required we have this feeling of prosperity but that does not mean that i indulge over indulge that only means that i will consume as much as is required only the rest i will share with others share with others for relationship and for system in the society so this is the essence that you know we have to understand explore and understand in this lecture 11 